Hey, Senator Crusaders, welcome back to our special Exposed, the fake news agenda. I want to go to Joe Concha for his insight. He's the media reporter at The Hill. Joe, how are you, brother? I'm doing repetitively. I don't know how to answer that question anymore. <laughs> I had to ask Alexa <laughs> yesterday because my, my daughter asked me, how long have I not been able to go to school? She's six. Good question. 82 days I've yet to leave wow. this house to even go inside a store. So I, I, that's the only way I, I answer that question, Mike. I'm stealing that <laughs> That's <laughs> I'm doing repetitively on this Blur's Day. Um, okay, I want to talk about motives and narratives and big picture stuff, but first, just give us one example, like the most egregious example of late, or like the first one that comes to your mind of just media being ridiculous against Trump or in any way. Oh, it's a tie, actually, between two CNN anchors, and I still can't believe that they have that title. They're clearly opinion hosts. You could even say activists, and they're in prime time, no less. So that's Chris Cuomo and Don Lemon. Don Lemon actually compared looting and violence to the Boston Tea Party. In other words, if you go into a footlocker and take a pair of Nikes, then that's like what happened in Boston years ago when we were fighting uh, for our freedom from the British. That was a doozy. Uh, but then also you had Cuomo just on Tuesday night saying, asking the question actually, show me where protests are supposed to be peaceful and uh, also not violent. Um, well, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm paraphrasing there, so excuse me. Oh, polite and peaceful no, is exactly sorry. what he said. No. Uh, look, uh, the First Amendment actually says, yes, you have the right to assemble peacefully, uh, or, or but, but there's nothing about, you know, actually looting and actually going through everything that we're seeing in American cities across the country uh, just horrifically on our screens. And you seem to have now two CNN anchors that are actually trying to kind of justify it in some way where there is no justification. What happened to George Floyd was horrific. Everybody agrees that, yes, he should have been charged with murder. He has been charged with murder. The president has condemned it. Uh, and, and I don't quite know what else anybody has to do. Let people obviously yeah. protest. There are grievances. There are problems, uh, clearly, with some rogue cops. But at the same time, to now justify the violent part of what we're seeing on our screens as somehow something revolutionary is utterly ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. And, of course, the point that a week ago, these same people in the media were talking about how if you want to get your hair cut, you're going to kill grandma, you're a horrible person, blood on your hands, and now that's all out the window. So I want to Can go bigger picture here. Second? Yeah, no, go ahead. Yeah, I, I, I don't understand what happened where even just a week and a half ago, you had reporters out there mask shaming people in outdoor settings that are clearly social distancing for not wearing masks. And look, I, I completely respect it. My wife's an ER doctor. She sees COVID patients. So when they said stay home or when they said wear a mask when, you know, you're uh, you're in an indoor uh, place, uh, all those things, wash your hands. Yes, almost everybody did that. But now it's like it's completely gone away because the cause is bigger than the virus. Well, well, how is that exactly? I get why people are angry, as I just said. But at the same time, the virus is still there, right? And for now, for people in the media to somehow say, you know what? Because it's a protest, you're allowed no longer to not social distance, which I don't think is actually a sentence. You, you don't have to social distance anymore. Uh, you know, I see people hugging, walking arm in arm. I see reporters uh, getting you know yelled at right in their face. So this is going to be a big test now, right, Mike? I mean, either this thing is able to jump from one person to another outside uh, in these sort of situations, or maybe we'll learn that maybe this is just more of an indoor disease, one that's primarily affected mm -hmm. nursing homes all along. Uh, well, we'll see. Yeah. It's, it's a horrible experiment, but I mean, that's that's yeah. what's happening, but no one's mm -hmm. covering the fact that suddenly coronavirus is gone because there's a bigger story out there now. Slater Crusaders, thanks for watching the first on YouTube. If you want more, like, subscribe. We got plenty.